Hey, welcome to another Big Lou Barbecue product review. We're gonna do Bear Paws Meat Claws. I found them for a great deal at a liquidation store, so I had to cook two pork butts. Also threw a chicken on there too, but when the pork butts got to looking like that, about the stall, I wrapped them up in aluminum foil, put them back on the smoker for another four hours or so till they got to the 190 degree range. One was at 195, the other was about 191, 189 near the bone. And uh, took them off the smoker, and I had to take them inside and test out these bear paws of meat claws. This is what happened. Big Lou Barbecue. Hey, it's Big Lou. Big Lou Barbecue. And other things I want to do, and let me tell you what I've got going on for you. Today, we're going to be reviewing the uh, bear paws uh, meat shredder claw things. All right, they look like this. I got them at a liquidation store for 75% off. I think I paid $3.89 for the two of them. That's less than two bucks a piece. All right, I used them once on some chicken. And uh, they were really, really sharp. Really thin pieces of plastic right there, but you can kind of see how they, uh, they kind of bent up a little bit right there. But I think they'll work fine on this uh, pulled pork. Got the pulled pork to uh, one of them, got to 195. The other one was just about 189. Uh, I could run the pulled pork till 200 and leave it in there, but you can shred that with your fingers. We need to test these out. Probably should have pulled it off at 180. Look at that. Glad that's not brass knuckles, man. Goodness gracious. All right, let's have some fun with these. Big All right, I got two barbecue. pork butts here. Now look, these gloves, this is a one size fit all, but they don't fit Big Lou's hand and that one ripped and it was the last one in the box. So I'm going with only one glove on this deal. All right, take a look at these pork butts. I marinated them. Oh, look, look like somebody got into that one. Okay, you heard it. My wife said, nope, she hasn't. I think it's just falling apart here. All right, put that down in there like that. Set that to the side. Let's open this one up. All right, that marinade, by the way, had garlic in it, fresh garlic. It's a really good pork. Well, maybe I need to do a video about this pork butt recipe thing. Goodness gracious, that's hot. Get out of there, it's falling apart. Whoo, it's gonna be easy to pull this. All right, we set this one to the side. I had him on for uh, four hours. I wrapped him, had him on for about another four hours. And uh, when I wrapped them, I put some more marinade and some sweetener and stuff in there. And um, it's going to be pretty good. Let's see how we do with this. We'll put the claws on. Let's see. Look at that. Mm hmm. That's hot, man. He's still hot. Nah, that one's not pulling out quite as clean, but have to get the claws on it. Still not bad. That's the one that only got up to about 190. The other one was at 195 when I pulled them off. All right, let's get some pork pulled here. Oh yeah, look at that. You know, I've always used forks, but these things have a claim to it. They're really doing a good job and it's getting it done fast. Wish I'd had them before. Um, they sell for about $13, and I gotta tell you, I've already used them on the chicken, so I know what they're gonna do. But yeah, they're getting this uh, shredded much quicker than I normally would with a fork, especially still being this hot. Now, I pulled it off half an hour ago, too. Should Maybe I should've let it rest some more. Now, you saw that one was the one where a lot of the sauce leaked out. Let's take a look at this one that was really, really wet. Of course, being wet, it's the one that didn't get up all the way as hot, but y'all, it's doing a good job. All right. I gotta tell you, I like them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled. You don't need to watch me do it anymore, but look, I mean, look what it's, look at that. Mm. I'm not gonna like say this brand's better than any other brand. I don't know, never used another brand before. But I gotta tell you, these meat cloth things are pretty good tools. I always used a fork before, but never really thought I needed these. But you know, hey. I mean, look at that. No, that was not a good example. Look at that. All right. 
Let's get that ripped apart. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Big Lou Bob. I got to tell you, those made short work of um, this pulled pork. It really didn't take long at all. And the sad thing is, my wife's been trying to buy me some of these things for years. I've just always kind of laughed it off as a gimmick because I had forks. Um, and I probably wouldn't have bought them if uh, they had still been at $12 or $13. But at $3.89, 75% off, that was $3.89 with the tax. I'd have bought two pair if the store had had two pair left. This was the only pair I saw that they had on that clearance at the liquidation store. But you know what? I'm glad I got them, and I'd pay full price for them now. They really did make short work of, um, worked a lot faster than the fork. Look, all right, I mean, that's just, that's all shredded. I'm not hiding big clumps under there or anything. I mean, that's, that's shredded pretty well, guys. Gonna make a good sandwich. I'll put this up in freezer bags, though, and uh, save it for um, weeknight meals, stuff like that. All right, pulled pork, man. I mean, it, it. It did a good job. Bear paws, bear claws, but I'm not just endorsing that brand. It's just the whole idea of meat shredder claws seems to work well. A lot better than I ever thought. Big hey, I'm back. Um, looking at these after that last segment, and I did rinse them off a little bit. They need to be washed well in a dishwasher. But you see that bend um, right there? You see that thing sticking out right here? And that one right there? That's that plastic dulling up there. All the teeth are like that. And I can see that, you know, these things may need to, uh, this one you can see real well. Just from the, you see, right here. Okay. It just kind of bending and dulling. You see that? And I can see that uh, maybe they'll continue to work after those pieces break off. Maybe they'll break off into meat. That's kind of gross. I don't know. Uh, but I can see that these are something that would need to be replaced after uh, several uses. Maybe depending on how much you barbecue or cook and pull pork, um, you may need to replace them every few months or yearly. My business, I don't know. Maybe they get to a point where that breaks off and then they don't get duller anymore. I'll have to see. I could do a follow-up review. I just wanted to point that out. That uh, they do, and I'd imagine metal ones don't. And of course, if you had metal ones, you could file down metal ones and sharpen them up again, but can't sharpen that up too easy, I guess. You see what I'm talking about? Right there where the ends are falling, it's on both of them, you know? Guess that's from the bottom of the pan or whatever. Maybe if I'd used a plastic pan to do it in. I don't know. All right, just an honest review. I'm not paid by the Bear Paws Company. Um, I just bought these and Thought I'd share the info with you. But I gotta tell you, I do like using these tools and I probably even will replace them with these or another brand because it made short work. A lot shorter work than forks do. Big Lou Barbecue.